I'd like you to meet Percy. Percy's always going down to the tip and bringing stuff home he thinks is useful. He's sort of not too bright. Let's see what he has brought this time. Oh dear, it has a power plug. Do you think he may put it into the PowerPoint? He'll be lucky to be alive, don't you think? What can we learn from this? Never ever put anything into the socket unless it is designed for it or if it's from the tip, it must be checked by a qualified electrician. Is it always safe? Not always. Take this flycatcher. If you poke a knitting needle or a nail inside, you are exposed to 3,000 volts. What's the matter, Percy? I ain't going. Toaster's broken. Percy, are you alright, Percy? Can't talk to you. I am dead. Got electrocuted. He's not telling the truth. He's a fibber. But I'm sure he got a real nasty shock. When is it safe to experiment? Views low voltage experiments only. Maybe up to 24, you're safe. With 12 volts, you can do very interesting experiments. Take this, for example. This is an instrument to teach how a power supply works. Underneath this white insulation tape, there is high voltages. But here, you can touch. This is all low voltage. It cannot hurt you. Now, take this little beauty. This is to show us how capacitors charge and discharge. This transmitter transmits electricity signals to this receiver. You can see it, this LED taking the energy from it when I push the switch. All of these work on 12 volts. However, there is a big but here. Beware of equipment that uses valves. This instrument shows us how we reflect an electron beam with a magnet nearby. This shows us how we get pictures on our computers and TVs. On top here, the anode has a voltage of over 200 volts. Keep fingers away from such high potential. Where do we get low voltages from? First of all, use batteries. Then, plug packs. They are safe and there are plenty of them around. Better still, 
is to build a power supply, but I think you need expert help for that. What about electricity and water? Electricity and water do not mix. This is a hairdryer. If you drop it in water, like the bath, and you're standing on it, you're in great danger of hurting yourself. How does water change us? When we are wet, we conduct so much better. In one of the previous episodes, you would have seen I use my whole hand to move the dot to the right. That's all the power that's in me. Now my hands are wet. I can do the same with only two fingers. Twelve volt car batteries are not dangerous. Car batteries are only twelve volts and you won't get shocked if you touch it. But just a brief short circuit can cause a fire. How do we protect against short circuits? Whenever there might be a short circuit one day, we put in circuit breakers and fuses for protection. This model of house looks rather tatty. It is shown to many other classes and courses already. It shows us how a fuse will stop the current when something goes wrong. When there is a short circuit, the wire will burn. Look at it again, this time in slow motion. It cuts off the power and so protects the house from damage. If, however, the wrong fuse is put in, I wouldn't trust Percy doing this, see what happens. That brings us to the end of the series. You may have noticed I'm not an actor, I'm just a normal kid like many of you. But I have been interested in science for years. I have also been with Peter, who is the producer of these programs, and he suggested that I should share my knowledge with... Oh, here comes Percy again with some girls from the tip. Oh, I wonder what he's got now. Let's go and see. Oh, look, this time he's cutting off the plug. Well, I'm sure Percy has learned a lesson. And I'm sure you have as well. Bye.